I'm going to try, and this will be an edited video, and show. So I had this um, bald, uh, blinky little uh, light jar, right? And uh, we wanted something to hide the switch on the top. And so I created this super simple, well, it's not simple. But, I mean, it is kind of simple. I created just this little screw on with a little finger hole in the end. And I'm going to try and show you how I did this using a couple other people's models. And there'll be breaks in this and we'll see how well it goes. So I have this, I'm gonna use the, do this all in uh, 3D Builder on Microsoft because I'm lazy and I don't know how to use any other program and this one's pretty easy. And so what I'm gonna do is I am not gonna take any of that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say import. Oh, what did I do? I meant add, load an object. And in this case, I am going to pick up the mason jar threads, okay? So it turns out the problem with this, the reason I'm redesigning it, is it needs a lip when it screws on to hold this piece in place because it pops out. Because I did such a good job of lining this up, it's amazing. Like if the jar didn't have anything in it, this would be perfect, but I screwed it up. So now I need a little lip on this thing and the way, and we're gonna import this, right? And I'm gonna select it, and this is gonna be the ground level, and what I really need is a super flat cylinder like this. So one of the questions is how wide is this thing? And it turns out, if we click on this, it shows me, oh, nope, we don't wanna do that. Let's, let's uh, just pick this one. It turns out that it is 75.3 wide, which means this thing, needs to be 75.3 wide so that I can, and what am I gonna do with it? I am gonna shrink this thing down to be just a plate, and then I'm gonna put the plate on top of this like it's a lid, and then I'm gonna drill a hole in it with another one of these. So actually, what I probably should do is make two of them. And we'll bring this one over. And this thing here is 75.3, so this one's gonna be 75.3. So I'm gonna make it 70, 75.3, and that'll accept, and this one will be 75.3. And then I'm gonna bring this thing over and lay it on top here somehow, and how am I gonna do that? I don't know, oh, that's too low. So let's look at this thing, and it says that its height is 16. So if I just take this thing and move it to 16, I now have a plate on top, right? So let's look at it. Oh, it's too far back, that's too wrong. Okay, so let's just drag it, all right? And I don't know if that's right, so let's look here. We'll look at the position. This guy's at zero, 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 so that means this one should be at zero, 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 and it is, and if we look around, it looks pretty good, right? So, um, that actually, I dropped it in the hole on this thing, so I could take it up just a little bit. So, is that what I want? Maybe, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now it's not down in the, you know what? So, I think that looks pretty good. We look at the bottom, I don't see any gap. I think we're good. Like, how thick did I make this thing? I made it. It is two millimeters high and I dropped it down a millimeter. You know what, that's probably fine. I could make this thing like a one point, right? And then we're good, that looks pretty good. So then the other thing we need to do is we need to pop a hole in this thing. So I'm gonna take this, Oop, didn't mean to do that. And take this one on top and be like, oh, that didn't work, why? because the position of this thing needs to be exactly the same as the position of the other one. So the other one is 17 millimeters up. Oh, hold on, 17, it's 17 millimeters up and it's 1.5 millimeters thick. So this one's gonna be 1.5 and it's gonna be 17 millimeters up. All right. Right. So now that we see this, right, it's sitting right at the exact same level of what I want. And you know what? I am actually thinking that I want this thing to be a little bigger because I only need a rim 
and so I need a lot of space. It looks not look that centered, does it? Well, it's because it's sitting off now. Right, so now it's centered. And I think what we'll do is we'll make it 70. Nope, we'll make it 60 by 60. Right, so we can see now we have a little, you know what, let's make it, yeah, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> okay. And then all I do is I say, edit, subtract. And now, oh, it wasn't deep enough. Look at that. It only made a dimple. So what did I do wrong? This thing is at 17 and 1.5. Let's see. This one is 1.5 thick and 17. So what I found when punching holes is... Um, I just need to make it thicker than the thing I'm punching a hole into. So I'm going to make this thing be three because I'm going to make it a negative anyway, right? Oh, wrong one. Because I'm going to make it a negative anyway. And if it's going to punch a hole, it's going to punch a hole in nothing everywhere else. So let's make it a three. And then let's move the position to 15.5. I don't know if I did that right. I probably did the math wrong. Let's do 16. And we'll do a subtract. And can we see through it? Nope. So I did it wrong again. That's pretty freaking embarrassing. And it's always on a video when you do this. So let's do this one. Let's just, you know what? Let's just get, let's make it eight. There we go. Now I know I got it. And I can just do subtract. And there I go. And that's it. So now I have a rim with a, a uh, 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 thing with a rim in it and now when I put it on my pot it won't go any further and I will do the rest of this in another video and how do I stop it that's what I'm going to do